Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete your keyboard history on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, there are a couple different places your keyboard retains that history. One of them, I'll show you an example and how to remove it. So let's basically, I'm on this random ESPN article. I can tap and hold on a word and hit copy. Now, if I open up a new web page, I can tap and hit paste, and you'll see that it immediately remembers that history of what I've copied. But your iPhone only keeps one copy in its history. Android can keep a bunch of different ones, but for iPhone, it's limited to just one. So if whatever is in that copy kind of clipboard, what you can do is just replace it with something new, and that essentially wipes out the memory. So say it's something that you don't really love, all you have to do is go to a different website and then just tap and hold on something and hit copy and then that is completely cleared. Now the other option you have is, let's open up your settings here and we'll scroll down and tap on general. Now on here you can see midway down is keyboard, let's tap on that. And you can see text replacement, let's tap on that. This is every single basically autocorrect or replacement that is built into your phone. On any of these, you can swipe to the left and hit the delete button if you wanted to. Then if you want to completely wipe out the entire keyboard and put it back to factory settings, let's just go back here, tap on transfer or reset iPhone at the bottom, and then tap reset. And then on here, you can see Reset Keyboard Dictionary. I can tap on that and just enter in my passcode and it completely resets that keyboard back to kind of the factory default settings that you would get when you just first buy your iPhone. And of course, won't have any history or memory with it. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.